awesome guys um, I'm gonna make this video uh, this is actually um, somebody uh, one of the viewers uh, subscribers he was talking about uh, chip breaking um, and he was mentioning about uh, using a third option uh, to control the chips and I made I made a dummy program uh, so this program technically uh, you can do it with this bar out or bar in, okay? I'm calling my material to start cutting at five inches, uh, starting from uh, zero. So from the beginning, my finish 10,000 on X, my finish uh, on a Z, it's 5,000 as you see, same tool. And what I wanna talk about and I'll show you, so you have these uh, over here, let me pin this one. You're gonna see pattern, right? You have pattern zero, pattern one, and then pattern two. And I'll show you the difference. Uh, but let's just finish. So we have a 100,000 uh, depth of cut. My speeds and feeds are 500 uh, for rougher finish, uh, same thing. And we're going to one inch and five inches on a Z. So it'll be easier for you to kind of see. So let's pick and uh, when the when the, one of the viewers, like what he mentions about pattern three, well, technically, I don't have a pattern three. Pattern three and four are actually optional. This is something that you can order from a Mazak, and that actually uh, helps you to control chips, but there's a way around it too. Um, and uh, just to kind of add, because uh, same thing is, uh, you know, so in the comments it was mentioned that I do not respond to the comments. I actually did. Uh, I do it usually through email and I didn't realize that these comments do not actually register. Uh, so I apologize for that. I'll be, uh, I'll make sure that I'm gonna uh, reply to the comments more often uh, and uh, just be kind of on top of it. And sometimes, you know, I get a, like, a, like a comment that, you know, the things that I'm like showing you or teaching you guys that uh, like, for example, I was running those five washers using out of slug that certain things that can be, let's say, for a bar stock. So that means you actually have a longer bar. Yes, you, you can technically use it for a lot of things, but to keep these videos as simple as possible, not, uh, in, not just describing every little detail, because like I said, like, like you see, like even just the header and the end unit, it was a long video, right? So I'm just trying to kind of get it simple as possible. And once you get into your machining or when you're machining, you can always uh, play with other options or if I'll have time, like I said, I'll, I'll get into it and maybe I can do a video that I will sh you know, uh, show you uh, technically some of these little nicks and, and crannies, uh, what Mazatrol will actually do for you. Okay, so let's go pattern. So this is gonna be a pattern video, right? So we're gonna pick the pattern zero. So it's gonna show you arrow here. Then you have the pattern one, which shows you under an angle. And then you have this kind of line down and then you have this like these interrupted lines, right? So we're gonna choose the pattern zero, okay? I'm gonna go to tool path, uh, path erase. This is our depart. And if you're gonna see the pattern, so you have this line, right? Step continue, it comes up straight, goes back, comes down, up on a straight line. So this is pretty much what this does. It cuts everything on a straight line, right? And I'm gonna erase the path and we're gonna run a finishing, uh, finishing path. Straight, straight up, Okay, get uh, to the six inches uh, and then go all the way up and head home. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to program, program ed edit my pattern. Now I'm gonna choose the pattern one. Okay, I'm gonna repeat. Tool path, part, okay. And then let's say path erase, same thing. Step, you're gonna come down and pay attention to what it does. See how it retracts under an angle. Uh, 
hopefully the line is not gonna step here. Okay, so the difference between uh, the zero and one is that zero is doing this, where number one is doing this, and it comes up. This is a, sometimes is a clearing move if uh, you don't have a lot of space, or for example, you wanna come up, especially when you're doing ID turn, uh, you wanna come up all the way because let's say you're gonna hit a, uh, sorry, when you go in, and for example, when you start to come down, so you don't hit the bottom. So sometimes I use these in reverse. Um, on what do you call it? Usually on outside, doesn't matter. The only difference is, and I'll show you when it's gonna run your path, you're gonna have a bunch of these little triangles over here left over, right? So path, okay, it's gonna come down, tap your race. So now imagine all these little the steps now it's gonna take it it's gonna have to remove way more material uh when it shoves into that material over here drags it all the way up to give you a, like a nicer finish uh, so technically i do not use that particular uh, option now let's go with option two so the option two what it does is where you can use an interrupted cut but it's not like an interrupted cut on uh, option three that I don't have over here, right? But look, okay. So technically, see, uh, so let's say it's got five, um, so I got five inches and I set this to go in a half an inch increasement. So if you have a material that's tough to cut instead of uh, breaking chips sometimes you know it's like it, pull, it pulls a material right and sometimes that can wrap around your uh, tool for example or it's just hard to control the way you set this up and where you make these adjustments but when you look at the program you only have a, a depth one and where's the depth two and depth three that option is not available for us uh, because we don't have uh, technically this this uh, particular machine doesn't have that option. So what you go is you go into the TPC, okay? You press here, and then you're gonna see an inner cycle divided cut. And we don't, uh, so we're not doing uh, inner cycle, we're doing outer cycle. Inner cycle, you're gonna press the TC54. Let's say, uh, if you're gonna do ID turning, we're doing the outer uh, cycle. So when you do OD turning, I set this 2.5. So look, for example, um, 2.5 is not, it's, it's not doing its job. So what it's gonna do, let's even call it 0.200. Okay. And uh, when it comes to feed, pause, dual rotation, that means let's say when it's, and that's gonna be used for option three, it's, it's gonna stop it's gonna rotate one time it's gonna feed so you put how many rotations do you want before it's gonna engage into feeding again um, I can tell you that this sometimes it can pull a little bit more a uh, little bit more uh, stress or wear on your tool because you're constantly stopping and feeding uh, versus if you actually have an insert and it's constantly cutting into material so be aware of that so outer cycle divided so it's gonna go to 0.2 and uh, same thing, and you'll see uh, what do you call it. So let's do path erase. Well, let's go even on top of it, uh, path continue. So as you see, it's over here, right? You might maybe not see it, but let's do path erase. Now it's doing a small, smaller cut, and it's gonna do that, but then the finish is just gonna uh, run across the part. So these are technically your patterns for cutting. Um, now, if I'm going to come to the second machine, okay, and so it is the same program, same everything, five inches we're cutting due to uh, one inch and five inches deep. As you see, let's see, now over here I have patterns, same three patterns, but see now I have a pattern three and I have a pattern four. 
it is same thing. This will cut, interrupt the cut and go up, or this one interrupted cut and comes out under that 45 degree, right? So if you just will, let's say, pick uh, pattern number three, same cut, it will give you a depth of cut. The first one, that's how deep you're gonna go. The second one is the depth of cut, let's say per section, right? So I want this to be cutting every 100, 100, 100, 100. Uh, but if you actually, if you don't, if you don't ad make adjustments in your TPC, you actually not gonna see the interrupted cut. What you have to do, you're gonna have to go to your TPC again, okay? And then you see that TC71 feed pause dwell rotation so you want uh, every let's say 200 or 300 whatever you're gonna set let's say cut 100 it's gonna do two it's gonna stop do two rotation and feed stop two rotations and feed and it says outer cycle divided cut width so every let's say 200 uh, this is technically where it's gonna listen to so and I'll show you what I'm talking about so I'm gonna run my OD turning Okay, and let's go. Okay, I don't know if you, you might not see it, but I'll show you. So look at the clock, 800, one inch, 120. So every 200, see how it stops? And every time it stops, you have two rotations and then continue. So it's like technically, it's like packing, pack cutting, right? Now, if this is not working out for you, right? All you really have to do is go here, program added, go here. Sorry, oh, let me see. Right here, here. And then let's say you can do four rotations. And let's call it, let's cut it every 100,000. Okay, so I'm gonna pull away. Memory, single. Okay. Now this is like even more a little bit prominent and as you see every 100 stops. And now we have a little bit longer pause because instead of two rotation we're doing four rotation. And this is a really great way to a control chip but like I said uh, these options do not come with all the machines um, and like I said I've, I've, uh, I wasn't planning to make a video but since somebody uh, commented about a chip breaking obviously that person didn't pay attention that I actually I don't have that option but if you do this is you control it how you control it and like I said if you don't have an option uh, on your machine just pick two um, go to TPC okay you can uh, same thing a uh, feed paused well you know you can do two rotations and whatnot then you can divide your outside even every 100 um, it's gonna take a little bit longer uh, because now we're you know now we're uh, path the race because now we're dwelling but technically as you see Now this is gonna, you know, this is a lot of material removed. So technically, if I had a, if I would have a, a situation where I got a problem with chip breaking, you just increase your depth of cut and you feed, and that usually solves the problem. Or you just, mat, you know, you, you play with the RPMs and feed and all these things. Um, on a smaller part, like I said, this is not gonna make that big of a difference, but it's so much easier to control the chips. Um, all right, guys. So thank you for watching, and see you next time. And like I said, I uh, appreciate all the comments and I'll pay a little bit more attention. I'll go uh, on the actually portal and I'll, and I'll reply to any comments or uh, what do you call it? Any comments uh, or even questions.